Hey there, how's it going? So today we're gonna to be building a mini bike. It's super exciting. I ended up ordering a AZ USA or Azusa or however you pronounce it, mini bike offline. Um, not the cheapest thing online, but pretty close to the absolute cheapest mini bike that I could find. And it is a kit, so I will have to assemble this thing. This video is not gonna be about assembling the mini bike. If you wanna see a how-to, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, this kid's got a two-parter that is an excellent guide on how to assemble one of these. So before we get too far along, let's unpack this. I got a, another table over there. We're gonna know all the parts and get everything out and see what we got to work with and uh, get some tools together and start assembling this thing. This is gonna be fun. And just like that, everything is unpacked and laid out. Really good thing to do before you start any project is to just lay out all the fasteners and all the parts and just get an idea of everything that you have. Make sure you have logical quantities of things, like there's three of these and two of those, and there's five nuts. I would assume these two lock washers go with those two lone bolts there, but I don't know, we'll look later. There's no instructions for this kit. You just start assembling things and if it makes sense then that's where that bolt goes and if it's wrong then you just move it. Um, I'm sure there's instructions somewhere. I legitimately watched a video, uh, there's two YouTube videos, kid makes his own bike, seemed pretty straightforward so we're just gonna dig right into this and see what has to happen. Um, I'm gonna do wheels first I think, then we'll probably get the frame up on the workbench, clamp that down and start putting all this stuff together. I ordered a different sprocket. This is the 72 tooth that these come with. This is a 60, and you'll see why I did that here in a bit. Uh, we're also not gonna be using this brake lever or cable or throttle or any of this stuff. And you'll also see why we don't need any of that later. Let's get to building. And just like that, the wheels and tires are together. Front is super easy, no gotchas there. Literally two halves of the rim, put it together, fill it up there, and you're done. The back's a little bit trickier. You wanna make sure that the tire fill is on the non-drive side, obviously, so that you can get to it. So this will sit on the bike like this. And there are three nylock nuts that will actually cinch into the rim, and then you put the bolts through, and then blah, blah but this will all have to come apart eventually because we're gonna change the gear ratio. But I wanna try it with the 72 tooth as it comes and see what happens. Uh, Cause my math says 19, I think, with the 72 and it says 23 with the 60. So we'll have to see. Onto the frame and fork and then we'll get the wheels and tires installed and that's pretty much it. This is easy. These are really simple. You should build one of these, like, right now. Go buy one. Go buy one. Go buy one right now. All right. All right. Let's finish this.
And just like that, we have a mini bike roller. That was pretty easy. There's a few little weird things. Um, there's no inserts in here that match up with any back holes. And there's a bracket right here. So the seats just got the one bolt. Whatever, I'll figure that out later. These pegs are ultra janky. I really don't like these. Honestly, a piece of tube across here with just some tack welds, maybe some knurling. These are horrible, so those won't be on there very long. I know I said I wasn't going to use this brake lever, but unfortunately, this is a lot bigger than the brake lever that I have for the drive line that I want to use. That's not tight. Wow. Anyways, um, I tried drilling it out and I broke it. So I'll just order another one and then I'll get the correct brake cable. That way I'm not trying to force that into that, but let's grab the motor for this thing. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, why don't we just put the GX390 in there? Well, full disclosure, that's terrifying. <laughs> it's just way too much power for something like this. As it is, I mean, the Coleman's terrifying. And that's just a tickled 196. I'm not going to put a 400cc engine into a Chinese mini bike or wherever these are made. I think they're actually made in California now they say that. California frame, Chinese parts, whatever the case may be. It's not getting a 25 horsepower engine. Not to say that this isn't going to be used for something. I do have plans for this, but that's for another video. Anyways, let's grab the motor. Let's get this thing going. I should also mention there's some spare parts. <laughs> I don't know where these go. Those are just cable ties. Uh, and then we got a nut and a bolt. These I think were for the seat. Uh, totally not gonna work. That, no idea. Another brake thing, no idea. Uh, and then those are mine, those are to mount the motor. I forgot to get motor mount bolts, but these will work. And then came in the chain, which is super handy. Anyways, this is the engine, motor. It's electric, it is out of a something, Monster Moto E1000 or something. I don't know, I got it used. I found this online. Um, there's a guy that actually sells these. So the batteries are all up in here and then you have a little motor controller and then you have a little thousand watt motor with a 10 tooth front sprocket. Turn her on. She's got a little battery gauge. Electric. Silent. This thing will be super easy. You won't have to start it. It won't make any noise. Uh, you can just get on it and ride. So it's going to be really cool for the track and just tooling around the yard going to get the mail and whatever else. So Hopefully these bolt holes line up with these bolt holes and this is just going to go on here and I'm going to put three out of four motor mounts on there and hook up a chain and we'll be riding this thing. Fingers crossed. Let's get it done. like that we got a mini bike motors in batteries in i'm not gonna lie that was actually a little easier than i thought it was gonna be i thought it was gonna be a nightmare i drilled four holes i slotted two of them and that's pretty much it um yeah let's throw the throttle on this thing and see if it actually goes
Sweet. I'm going to put the grips on it and tighten up the pegs. Take this thing for a ride. Whatever, chain tension. Figure that out later. <laughs> so cool. Just walk right up to it, turn the power on. And you're ripping. You don't have to pull it. You don't have to fill it with oil or gas or anything. Specs. 1,000 watt. 36 volt. There are three little, like, UPS battery backup batteries up in here. First things to make it faster, it's not going to be fast. I just know. I haven't even ridden it. It's not going to be fast. But if I gear down in the back, which is why I got the 60 tooth, that'll increase the top speed if the motor can handle the extra load from it being geared down. Probably can. It's got a lot of torque. After that, it's just simplifying add lightness. I need to start cutting all this off. This is friggin' steel. This entire drive unit weighs 54 pounds. This thing shipping weight was 53 pounds. So it's a tank. It's really heavy. And that's gonna equate to not fast. Let's see how not fast it is. <laughs> well, the brakes don't really work, but it does about 13. That's pretty awesome. All right, I gotta fix the brakes. All right, brakes are fixed. Let's see if I can not dive bomb into the neighbor's yard. They're dragging a little bit. Sort themselves out. Man, the instant acceleration is so cool. So bueno on the hills. But it made it up it. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I'll fix those later. The brakes definitely need work, but this isn't the lever that I want to use all the time because the other lever is actually got to kill. So it'll shut the motor down when you pull the brake, which is kind of key. So even if the brake doesn't work that great, it's at least not trying to accelerate away from you. But I'm going to uh, reset the pegs and ride this thing around. I really appreciate you hanging out today. This was super fun. And uh, if you get a chance, build a mini bike, build an electric mini bike. This thing's going to get some uh, improvements in the future, I guarantee it. I got to get the brake pedal or brake uh, lever on and finish the grip and do some other stuff and then see what else we got to do to lighten this thing up and make it go a little faster. Probably change the sprocket out next. Definitely going to figure out how to mount the seat a little bit better. But other than that, I'm just going to ride this thing around and enjoy the rest of my Saturday. So thanks for hanging out.